first things first, you want to draw a diagram. Now, the inclination is 30 degrees. You know that mass and gravity is going down. Uh, y is n cosine theta, x is n sine theta. And then this is n. And this would be the circular, uh, the circular motion formula and b squared over r. So what they're asking you is for you to find the velocity here. So you have n cosine theta, that's mg, and sine theta is mb squared over r. Now you know that sine or cosine is tangent. So you would just use the formula and divide one by the other, cancel, and you get tangent theta equals um, b squared over rg. And then you move velocity by itself and cancel out. So at the end, velocity is tangent theta, well, the square root of tangent theta times radius times gravity. We already know the radius. They give it to you, 15. Gravity is 9.8 times the inclination is tangent 30 degrees, and the velocity is 9.21 meters per second. Now, however, if there's not enough height to gain the speed that you, is needed, you can decrease the radius or the angle or increase the friction on the road. The third question is asking for the minimum speed that you need if you were on the moon. Now, it's the same process, except that, except for gravity, because when you're on the moon, the gravity is less by six times. So you just divide the gravity, 9.8, divided by six, and you get 1.633. And the formula is the same, b squared equals tangent 30 times the radius times gravity. You plug in, and then the velocity that you'd need if you were on the moon would be 3.76 meters per second, which is less than what you need on Earth.